Besides enemy aircraft, the balloon barrage must also battle the forces of nature. Here's one of our balloons being pushed around by a high wind. Under these conditions, an unarmed cable is a dangerous thing, for if it should break, away goes the balloon, dragging its cable across the ground may be wrecking the very installations that the barrage is supposed to protect. But on the other hand, if the cable is armed and accidentally breaks, the upper lethal device explodes and cuts the trailing cable loose and parachutes it down. The rip panel is pulled, deflating the balloon. It sounds great, you say, but how does it work? Well, here's how. When the armed cable is accidentally broken at some point, the entire wire goes slack. And so the downward tension on the foot ropes of the balloon is released with a snap. As the foot ropes recoil, the upper link is jerked upward. The inertia weight, which is suspended inside the link between two inertia springs, remains motionless. When the rest of the link moves up, the striker pin on the end of the inertia weight hits the cartridge which was forced up with the link. The explosion blows out a weak neck connection. This releases the flying cable, which falls and pulls out the balloon rip panel and yanks the parachute out of its bag on the foot rope. 